Well, that's what was smoking because this is all locked up here. I've got a typical upright vacuum cleaner that's smoking and the roller brush isn't turning. Let's take it apart, see what's wrong with it, and how to fix it. I'm going to take this cover off, and there are four screws here to remove that. Flipped it over to make it easier to work on. These screws are different length. The longer ones go in the front on this particular vacuum, and the shorter ones on the back. There's another screw back here to release. This piece is all tied together. There's another short screw. We pull that off, and you can see here's our belt here. Well, that's what was smoking because this is all locked up here. So if you need to change the belt, all you do is pull this out, remove the brush, and then you can slide the belt off. There's a gap right down here. You can slide the belt off. We don't need to take the belt off. But I do want to say one other thing. If your va vacuum and the brush locks up like this, and you want to use the attachment, and don't want to ruin your belt or it's smoking, like this one was, you can just take the belt off, put it back together, and use it like that. You're just not going to get this brush turning. These end caps are supposed to spin. And I can feel that's all locked up, and that's all locked up. It fits in like this, and this brush has to spin. It can't spin, and so I think this is all gummed up in here. And I'm just going to see if I can scrape it out without breaking something. Maybe it's overheated. Got hot in there and fibers from the carpet got in. And it could be it got so hot it just kind of melted together. full of hair and stuff. It's a little gear on there. Teeth. You see how this is all wound? With hair and... Now the easiest thing and the most practical thing is to just order a new brush and reinstall it. And I'll show you the reinstallation. But I'm going to try to clean this up and put it back in. And in the meantime, she can order a new brush. That's nice and free, it's just this side that got locked up. Silicone would be better, but we don't have any of that here. But there's a bearing in there. And it'd be good to put some grease or oil on that.
and we'll give it a quick test. I want to make sure that the brush is turning freely, that there's no binding, no odd sounds. That's smooth. If this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.